long story. So we're going to do the story of the Wizard of Oz as being told in the form of you were the Western, you were the soap opera, and you were the eulogy. And we will start with the eulogy. She's dead. <laughs> that house fell right on her ass. <laughs> I think I'll take her shoes now. This road's pretty yellow. Feels like death in here. <laughs> and then I was alone in the road. And then I was the most beautiful scarecrow. And he came to me. And he sang me the most beautiful song. If he only had a brain. But I was a doctor. But I had amnesia. Also, I had red shoes. But I know I can help you. And we'll get to this right after our sponsors. So, Dorothy and I. Dorothy and I. No, Dorothy and the scarecrow going down that long, long path of 1892. They were looking for gold, and they knew it was in the witch's shoes. So they went down that path, and they came across a tin man, man with lockjaw. He'd been stuck inside one of those mines. <laughs> He'd been stuck inside one of those mines looking for gold himself. And Dorothy, well, Dorothy and the Scarecrow, they brought out some Earl. That's right, they dug it up right from the ground. That's right. And, uh, after they put the oil, the pearl, on the Tin Man, they died. <laughs> Did you guys see that midget in the forest hanging there? <laughs> so I think I'd like to say a few words about that midget. I don't think he had a chance. They were taller than him. Hey, look, a scarecrow. Is he already here? Hey, look, a cowardly dead lion. The lion was not dead. He only had amnesia. And he lacked his spine. So I must perform an operation on him. But I forgot everything because of the amnesia. Also, my evil twin brother was there. And he was trying to stop me in the form of a winged monkey thing. But I had loved him. But I could not. We came past it. We came past and I must perform these surgeries on my friends. But I am the doctor with amnesia with webby red shoes. And only one man can help me. And he's the wizard. The wizard of Oz. <laughs> And that there wizard, he had some kind of great power. They come straight out of it to me. He told Dorothy, Bitch, you need to kill the witch. That's what she said. That's what he said. He said, Kill that witch, and I'll bestow you back to your hometown of Kansas. That's right. Okay. That's right. Take you back down to Kansas. So they all went, found the witch. Got a gold mine pan with some water in it. Threw it on the witch, killed her. Stole her shoes. Got some slaves and went back and took over. All right, guys.